In the last video, we have seen the theoretical part of monostable mode with triple five IC. In this video, we are going to see the practical explanation of this mode. So let's get started. For this, we have to connect the resistor and the capacitor with the IC and also the pulled up resistor and the push to one switch. With the output, we are going to connect an LED. Triple five IC, pin number four and pin number eight. These two are connected to the plus VCC. Pin number one is connected to the ground. Pin number eight pin number 4 this should be connected to the plus vcc and pin number 1 is connected to the ground and pin number 6 and pin number 7 these two are connected together with the pin number 5 a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor is connected and then it is connected to the ground it is connected in between pin number 6 and the vcc a resistor R is connected and this value could be anything and I'm going to connect 100 kilo ohms resistor and also a capacitor C is connected the value of C could be anything I'm going to connect a 100 microfarad capacitor and type of my capacitor is electrolyte capacitor the positive pin is connected here and the negative pin is connected to the ground. Here the resistor value is 100 kilo ohms for my example and it is 100 microfarad. So it is connected. In between pin number 2 and VCC a 33 kilo ohms resistor is connected. In between VCC and pin number 2 a 33 kilo ohms resistor is connected now connect a push to one switch one pin of the push to one switch is connected to pin number two of the IC and another pin is connected to the ground one pin is connected to pin number two and another pin is connected to the ground connect positive and negative rails now connect 220 ohms resistor with pin number 3 and with this resistor we have to connect an LED. It is the output. Positive pin of the LED is connected to the resistor and negative is connected to the ground. So this is all about the connection and I am going to use VCC as plus 5 volt. As we have chosen the value 100 kilo ohms and the 100 microfarad. So we have to find the time activated output time the formula is t that is time is equal to 1.1 multiplied by rc 1.1 it is ln3 or you can say it is log 3 base e the value of this is 1.098 Six. and approximately it is equal to 1.1 as the capacitor charges exponentially so mathematically we have to use the exponential function and I'm not going to so deep I'm just explaining from where the 1.1 value comes from it is comes from ln3 here the resistor is 100 kilo ohms so 100 kilo ohms means thousand and then the capacitor is 100 microfarad so 100 microfarad and it is 1.1 here it is 100 and 10 to the power minus 6 is equal to 1 by 10 to the power 6 2 0 2 0 3 0 
three zero and another one zero. So one point one multiplied by ten, it is eleven seconds. So with this value, that is hundred kilo ohms resistor and hundred microfarad capacitor will have a T on time as eleven second. Now let us see whether we are getting T on time as eleven second or not. As we have discussed this waveform in the last video and here is our calculation total time is 11 second so this 11 second is from here to here okay this is T1 time after the triggering signal it should be 11 second so in the oscilloscope we will see this This is the probe and I'll connect this pin here and the negative pin to the ground and another probe I'll connect in this this positive pin should be connected here and its negative pin will be connected to the ground so this is how I'll connect we'll see the trigger signal with this probe and the capacitor charging and discharging with this probe and with this LED we will see the output now I am connecting the probe one probe is connected across the capacitor and another probe is connected across the push to one switch so this is the connection now connect power supply for this circuit is the 5 volt positive and the negative and generally our trigger signal is in the logic high so this one is now in the logic high this one trigger signal and this one is capacitor charging or discharging signal neutrally across the capacitor voltage is zero and the trigger signal is in the logic high and our output is zero okay so this is the initial condition This is zero and after 2.5 squares here is our trigger signal that is 5 volt per square we have 2 volt from here you can see so 2 volt 4 volt and another 1 volt it is 5 volt and I have selected the cursor in the 5 volt so this is the VCC level and this is the ground level now whenever I press the switch then this trigger signal will go low and our capacitor will start to charge now I am pressing the switch our output is turned on and here is our trigger signal and capacitor is charging it is discharged and I am stopping it ok after discharging it the output is turned off again you can see so whenever the capacitor discharges the output will be turned off see okay now see here as our VCC is 5 volt so 2 VCC by 3 is equal to 3.33 volt so from here to here it is equal to 3.3 volt and you can check it here is our cursor and it is in between 3.28 and 3.36 it is approximately 3.33 volt so here it is start to charge and it is charged up to 3.33 volt so 
So this is how our monostable mode works. And if you want to know the total time, then here we have applied the trigger signal. And here is our output period it is we should get 11 seconds but we are getting 11.5 seconds so somewhat okay because these resistors and capacitors have some tolerance this is why the value is not exactly 11 seconds so this is how we can explain the working of monostable mode now if you change any value then the time will change keeping the capacitor value constant just vary the resistor value and you will get your required timer it will be easy to keep your capacitor value constant and change the value of resistor because you can change the value of resistor by potentiometer and you will get your required time by this formula r equal to ty 1.1 multiplied by c let's say you want a timer circuit of 15 second then put 15 in this 1.1 and let's say your capacitor is 100 microfarad so it is 100 and microfarad so it will be somewhat like this 1.1 into 100 calculate it you will get your resistor value it is 136 363 ohms and it is approximately 130 kilo ohms okay or you can get this exact value by potentiometer so guys this is all about the practical explanation of monostable mode of triple five ic i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching